man. Think about gnats, bro. They so goddamn small. Yeah. They be fucking with everybody. Yo! What's happening? What's up? I got Patron in my cup. Uh, welcome to the Drinks and Discussion Podcast, man. This is episode 133. I am your host, King Bot, K-V-N-G-B-A-K. How y'all doing tonight? What's popping with y'all? Uh, y'all coming in here early, too. All right, that's what I like to see. Hey, yo, for real, for real, uh, I got my man, Primetime Naeem, here with me. Yo, yo, what's goody? And, uh, you know, we about to get into the shits, man. Um, All day, every day. Yeah, man. How was your day today, man? It was good. It was productive. All right. Hit the gym. Uh, uh, Played some ball with my sons. Okay, for Uh, sure, for sure. How they balling? Skills coming along, man. It's coming along, man. It's coming along, man. They, uh... They getting they 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 they, they decent. They decent. They All right, decent. for sure. Yeah, I like so I like man. to hear that. I they like decent, to hear that. Man. So you know they they got actually, they actually have a big game coming up this Saturday, bro. Oh yeah, you know, champ, championship game. Okay, okay, okay. Game. I'm happy for them because the last team they was on, they team sucked, bro. They couldn't do nothing. My sons were like the best on the team, and like yeah, they couldn't they couldn't win the game, bro. They they I felt so bad for them, but now they got a good squad. Mm-hmm. The whole team's doing good. And so, you know, it's like a little kids league, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, so, for sure, um, for sure. You know, it's not like super, super competitive, but, they, you know, they, they've been winning their games and they got a big game coming up on Saturday, so I'm trying to get them right. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, that's what's up, man. Um, in my day, today was chill, man. I uh, put in my two-week notice at my job, uh, hey, 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 hey. which is which is actually like four weeks because I'm not leaving until June. Oh, okay. So you know, but I mean, you know, they were happy for me. So I mean, that was you know, what I'm saying that was definitely that was definitely a good thing. Um, but yeah, other than that, man, shit, I just been chilling for real, for real. Yeah, I feel that. Hell yeah. Um, so I kind of want to, I kind of want to get into the into the very first topic on our list. Um, because it's, it's something I actually forgot to mention yesterday on the pod or last podcast for those of y'all who listen in on, um, Apple podcasts, Google podcasts, wherever you listen to it at. Um, yeah, got, dog, I'm being sued. That hell sued for what? Yeah, man. So, uh, I was at, uh, I was at a bar. It was like right after Ramadan, like, you know, like right after Ramadan, it was like still E type shit. Uh, I went out to a bar and, uh, I slapped the shit out this nigga. Oh, damn. Yeah, so uh, he made some comments about the podcast. Um, so let me break it down. So I go into this bar, and um, I'm at the bar, and I've been going to, like, bars by myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't really be talking to people. I just kind of like just the atmosphere, you know, people watching. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, get my get my few little drinks in, and then I'm out of there. Yeah. And um, so I'm sitting down at this bar, and, um, you know, I got my drinks or whatever. This guy comes over. Uh, he says, "Yo, you the dude from the podcast?" I said, "Yeah, I got, I have a podcast. You know, like I don't, I don't know what podcast you watch. It might be mine. It might be somebody else's. Right. You know, I, right. I don't know." So you know, him and I are having a conversation, and he was like, "Yo, you know, what I'm saying, I think it's pretty dope that you know niggas come out and they, you know, niggas like you, you know, doing podcasts and shit, and y'all actually successful and you're doing your thing." I said, "Well, I appreciate it, dog. You know," and he kept it up being with me. He was like, "Y'all only watched one episode, but that shit was good, though." I was like, "All right, well, I." I I appreciate that, man. Right. Thank you. And um, and uh, his homeboy was kind of drunk that was with him. So I guess his homeboy was trying to have a conversation with him, but he was more interested in, you know, the conversation he was having with me or whatever. Right. So his homeboy started hating him. His homeboy was like, his homeboy was like, oh, that podcast is probably shit. You know, I just let niggas talk, man. I was like, yeah, all right, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, you got it. And uh, so, anyway, long story less long, man. You know, this nigga, like, he just keeps talking shit, man. And um, I had a little look in me. And, um, you know what I'm saying? He got a little too close to me. Yeah, yeah. So I slapped the shit out of him. Yeah. And, um, you know, before he could react, his boy grabbed him. When I was talking to me, he grabbed him and, and took him out. So I know the security in there. A security guard came over to me. He was like, yo, are you straight? I was like, yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. So uh, I'm at work. I'm at work, and I get served with a uh, with a paper of Sue. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, I get served with a with a paper of Sue, dog. So, uh, yeah, I gotta go to court for this shit. And um, yeah, I gotta go to court for this shit. And um, 
you know, I don't know if the nigga think I got money because I got the podcast, but nigga, I'm broke. <laughs> nigga, you ain't getting shit from me, nigga. Yeah, I'm gonna get in there. If it's, the judge is gonna be like, yeah, my nigga, you ain't getting a motherfucking dog. You know what I'm saying? Which is crazy. And then I know his attorney. Um, so, which is also crazy. Um, his attorney is actually one of my bros. I yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, the shit gonna get, I mean, at the end of the day, the shit gonna get thrown out. But, you know, I, I just find it funny, like, niggas really be on that Sue shit, bro. That shit wild. Yeah. Bro. It's probably gonna end up costing him in the long run because mm-hmm. he's gonna have to pay his lawyer. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Because he ain't about to get a dime from me. Yeah. Even if I had money. I, man, you know what? Even if I had money. No, if I had money, I probably I probably just pay the nigga off to keep it up under the table or something, settle out of court or some shit. But that shit's funny to me, man. That shit's funny to me. Hey, but I I, I tell you this, man. Like I'm 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 a real even temper guy, man. Like if, if you get me to the point where I slap the shit out of you, <laughs> I be trying to have fun, man. Like you know, I let like little jokes and shit roll off my back, man. Like you know what I'm saying? I I just find it funny, like niggas really be on shit like that. Like that shit is wild to me, man. Yeah, man, that's what that's a problem, bro. That's so. A problem. Uh, also, another conversation I had was uh, was with this girl, and uh, she said, uh, "All right, so we in, we in this 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 is during Ramadan. So I'm in this room um, with a couple people, and um, uh, this, you know somebody had made mention to the podcast. And I said, okay, yeah, you know, we started talking about it, and this one girl, she was sitting in the back, and she was kind of like screw facing me the whole time." So uh, my homegirl asked, and she was like, yo, what's your, what's your deal? Like, why you look like that? And she was like, I just don't think straight black men should have podcasts. I said, what? <laughs> I said, what? And then she went on this fucking long tangent of, you know, uh, black men shouldn't have podcasts because y'all don't know what the fuck y'all be talking about unless it's about sports. And she was like, and I know your podcast ain't about sports. I was like, well, no, nah, not really. Like, we might talk about sports players, but why shouldn't straight black men have podcasts? She said, because y'all have no voice. I said, wow. Wow. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? So, I, so, so, you know, I, I probed a few questions and because I was curious. I was like, well, if we shouldn't have podcasts, then how do you feel about black men expressing their feelings and she was and, and she was like <laughs> let me tell you oh, she was like she was like i never date a nigga who who knew how to express his feelings what i said are you single or are you in a relationship she was like no i'm single i said oh, that's, that's why <laughs> that's exactly why <laughs> that's exactly why like what kind of fucking shit is that yo that's wild shit. that's that's wild as fuck man like i don't i really don't understand why some women think the way they do about, you know, black men and how we, you know, black men and, and, and our feelings. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy, man. Cause that kind of goes back to what I was saying in a, in a previous episode. It's like, there's so many spaces for women, you know what I'm saying? On cable news where like women can just have women talk. But like on like national TV, you don't you don't find those male spaces where we can just talk, right? You know that that's usually just on like YouTube podcast. Like that's that, that's why you see a lot of these like male spaces. They're on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really the only place we can go to talk about it. Because you know, kind of like what she's saying, like oh, we got to be about sports. If we're talking about on like on a national platform, yeah, usually like it's it's sports. You know what I'm saying? And like even in sports, I mean you're seeing like more uh female uh hosts and stuff like that. So it's not even that that ain't even you can't even really call that a male space, really. That's just a male sport and you know males like sports, you know what I mean? So it's like we need a, a space where we can talk about our shit, express ourselves, talk about our, our issues and you know Talk about our feelings and emotions. Wait, me and got feelings too, goddammit. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, we like we can talk about it. Like I feel like a lot of a lot of our issues get brushed to the side. A lot of our issues get brushed to the side. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I I think they do too, man, because you know 
first they wanted niggas to talk about their feelings. And then when niggas actually talk about their feelings, now it's a problem. Like, do you, do you not remember that trend of the fucking, in the fucking movies, right? Let's just say, uh, uh, damn, give me a good movie with uh, maybe How to Be a Player. That's, that, that's probably not the best example. Okay, but the like movie, but, or or like... nah, not loving basketball. Um, but the movies in that era, the movies okay. in that era where, you know, guy got girl, guy lost girl because he couldn't express his emotions. Something happened. That's loving basketball. That's it, definitely loving basketball. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. So guy lost girl because he couldn't express his emotions. Right. Mm-hmm. So y'all, you know, when I say y'all, I mean women. Women were that's so Love Jones too. Yeah, Love Jones. Love Jones. Love Jones. Yeah, that's a per, that's a perfect example. All right, boom. Love Jones. All right. So y'all were so in tune with you know niggas expressing their emotions, and then Drake comes out, and now niggas expressing their emotions freely. Like now, I mean, we've been doing it, but it's 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 more accepted now. It's more accepted now. You know, we're we're giving our thoughts. Y'all y'all are getting the inner workings of the barbershop talk, pretty much. And y'all don't y'all don't want to hear it now, which is crazy. Like we giving y'all what y'all asked for, excuse me. But in turn, y'all saying, "Oh, I don't want no sensitive ass nigga." You know what I'm saying? I don't want no. So I can tell you exactly. What it is. All right. I can tell you exactly what it is. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what women want. I don't know. <laughs> Bro, that was a wild intro to your take. But I'm listening, though. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm going to tell you one more. Man, you can't laugh after that. This is serious. <laughs> right? Women want that mysterious bad boy. But he's only soft and emotional with them. Right? If it's a, a dude who is, you know, open and honest and sensitive and just having like all these thoughts with just everybody then that's when guys open themselves to get clowned and get made fun of and all this other stuff so it's like in society we Mm -hmm. have to admit like men have to like continue to be all mysterious and stoic and you know what i mean like that type of that type of dude but then like what they want is like, oh, but he only opens up to me, and with me, he's so sensitive, and blah, blah, blah. And that is a, that's what women want. Okay. They don't, they don't want to do who's just, like, out there, like, like, drinking and shit, just always talking about his feelings and shit. They don't like that. They're like, ah, that nigga soft, he, that nigga weird, that nigga blah, blah, blah. <laughs> For nobody, sure. Nobody, nobody, nobody want that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But out in public, yeah, they want a dude who's, like, who's, who's mysterious, stoic. Like, that's, that's what they want. Okay. That's what they want. That's, okay. I get, I mean, I can respect it, man. That's I can facts. respect it, but you know, I don't know, man. We 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 breaking into a new era, and um, you know, and and, and it's different. It's you like know? dudes can be emotional, but it's like you gotta like pick pick the 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 place and the time. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You can't just be emotional. You know what I'm saying? Or out and open with your feelings. Like I said, like women want you to be. They they want a man to just be emotional and sensitive with them. Okay. They don't care about everybody else. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you I, can I, go around smacking bitches in the face. Get the fuck out my face. Get out of here. But as long as you sweet and like emotional and soft with them, they're gonna be like, oh my god, I love this nigga. Everybody like, yo, this nigga's an asshole, but he's sweet to me. It's, it, he my asshole. That's he what they gonna say. Yeah, that's what they gonna say. He my. Ass. I actually had a girl say that to me one. Well, about yeah. that to about that to me oh, one yeah, time. They, 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 it was they, like yeah. to. She was talking to her friends. She was like, yo, that nigga's an asshole, but he's my asshole. I was like, damn. See, see, I felt vulnerable right there. I yeah. said, shit. All right, I'm fucking with if it. You, like, you, know, you acting like real like sociable and nice with other women, they don't like that. They, mm-hmm. want, you be, they want you to be mean. They, like, no. Curving, mushing other women. Other women just mush them out the face. Like, right, get, get out of my way. Da-da-da-da-da-da. Mean to everybody, but just nice and sweet with they want. That's what they want. Okay. So, um... <laughs> So it, it was it was um, it was one thing that I kind of wanted to pick your brain about, and since we're talking about um, the transition, you know that that men and women have been making as of recently, um, women. Okay, so black women are statistically 
um, the only race of women who outlap their uh, male counterparts with earnings, right? So why do you think that that, that is? Why do black women earn more than black men do? And we are in the, you know, age of, you know, digital technology. Like you can literally go to school online. You can literally get a degree online. You know, um, you don't have to set foot in the classroom. It doesn't matter whatever your profession is. Um, you know, you can, you know, you have these opportunities afforded to you, but why is it that women are only, um, you know, are, are making black women are making more money than black men right now. All right. So, so I, I gotta, first, I, first I gotta give you some pushback. Okay. Right. Give me some pushback. Give All me some right. pushback. First I gotta give you a pushback. I feel like we gotta, we gotta go ahead and check and check them stats. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because I, right, here's what I will say. As far as like the gaps between men and women in, in either race, it's pretty clear. Like the man is making more money mm -hmm. right except when it comes with black men and women last time i checked we still make it more black men are still making more but that gap is really small and so it it would seem that black women are um out, outpacing men and i i wish i wish i was prepared for this topic because earlier um I did a video about um, reacting to Rebecca Lynn Pope, and she was talking about how um, black women are making more money, they're more educated, they're more this, they're more that. Um, she said um, that they're, they're running laps around us. That's what she said? She said she said that they're running laps around us? Hold on, man. I don't even know if this... Uh, when it comes to becoming a wife, keeping it 100, yes. not enough eligible black males who fit the needs of black women. Mm. By the time you dissect the demographics of finances, sexual orientation, uh, what you end up drilling down into, because black women tend to want to marry black men. Right, right. Okay. So black women are excelling. They're getting accelerated degrees, graduate degrees, doctorate degrees. They're starting businesses. Black women are running circles around men. Right. And it's also showing... Bitch, I got five degrees. Women are Hold on. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Hold on. You, uh, go ahead. Get your shit up. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Yo, I got to do the Drewski on that shit. Like, what do you mean by that? Uh, like, so, so uh, running circles. Like, okay, I, I, I understand. Okay, so... And maybe it's because of the ilk of the niggas that I, I kick it with. You know what I'm saying? Like, the ilk of the niggas I kick it with are niggas with degrees, right? So you, uh, fucking uh, Justin, um, you know, just the, just the general ilk of the niggas that I kick it with went to college, got a degree, you know what I'm saying? Or went to college, got Nigga, I've been in school since fucking kindergarten. I haven't left, nigga. I haven't left. I'm working on, I'm working on PhD, nigga. Like, I haven't left. Right. I've been in school 34 years. Oh, we, we start going to school. Right. Five? Yeah, 30 was, years, was, nigga. 30 years of education, nigga. Yeah, I was in it for a minute. But look, all right, so let me, let me clear up some things, right? All right, I'll listen to it. Because it's, it's been, I, I know you've seen the post, black women, the most educated group of, of, of whatever out there. Black women are the most educated. Yeah. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'll, 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 okay, I'll, I'll, like, probably give them that. I think, um, but... What they're talking about is people who are getting degrees currently. You okay. know what I'm saying? So um, on like a per capita basis. So currently, right now, black women, more than any other race, they have a high uh, rate of going to college and, and getting their degrees. Okay. Right? Overall... There's still more black men living who have degrees. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But like currently, there is less black men who are going to college to go in mm. and, gra and graduate and to get their degrees, right? Gotcha. So at a, black women at a higher rate are going to college and getting their degrees. But this is not a race thing. Mm. 
so if you look if you look at the and there was a whole uh, article on this, uh, it's that you'll find that men of all races are starting to go to college less, and instead they're doing like you know uh, vocational schools or picking up trade skills or getting certifications um, and and opting out of college. Okay, you know what I'm saying, and instead they're you know what I mean, like I said doing you know like you know trucking business is, is a big yeah. thing now and so they just you know get their cdls or, or get this kind of certification or go to you know pick up a trade or whatever because there's a lot of people are starting to see that in college is beneficial i'm gonna say that but a lot of people are starting to see that there's other avenues to get money you know what i'm saying absolutely and it's like a four-year college isn't the end-all be-all and so i think with men in particular, and I think it's because of the type of jobs that are available for uh, for these kind of like skilled skills type job. Like, for instance, you don't see too many women who want to be janitors. Or like, you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. You don't see too many women who want to be plumbers. That's a be- that's a better one. Right? Okay, all right. You don't see, but plumbers make decent money. Yeah, you know, no, they do. You can make some decent money, right? You don't yeah. see a lot of women wish, that has like. I wish I was getting money to lay right. pipe. Electricians. <laughs> oh Lord of mercy! <laughs> you had to go there. You had to do it. I had to, man. It was right there. Oh, I, I, I could, I could not take a stab at it, man. Right, but you don't like, like how many female electricians do you get? Mm. How many, how many female truck drivers is it? Right, now, it's, it's actually a lot. You, you might not think it. Truck drivers is actually a lot, and I'm gonna be honest. So when I work for uh, when I work for a warehouse or whatever, them them dude truck drivers, it take them all day to back up to that dock door. Them females be whipping the fuck out of them big ass. I, I was impressed. Listen, I'm I was not, impressed. I'm not saying there's not female plumbers, female electricians, female truck drivers. I'm telling you, at my job, we receive pack, uh, pallets from trucks all the damn time. Right. I've yet to see a goddamn woman. Okay, I dig it. No, I dig it. I dig it though. I dig it though. You know what I'm but uh, this this is what I'm saying because. Think about the type of jobs that um, uh, and someone was it. Yeah, he says I'm a principal of a high school vocational school. I have three young ladies in welding. Uh, congratulations! Right. Um, I, I, I do. I do want to ask: Are are they black women? Because um, that's that's the kind of the topic that you know we're kind of rolling with right now. But w- whether they are or not, you know, what I'm saying more power to them. Congratulations! But I mean, that's that's impressive as hell. And like I said, I'm not saying that women aren't doing those type of jobs. That's not what I'm saying. But if you look at the overall um, st- stats of like what kind of jobs w- women are going for, if you mm-hmm. look at the type of jobs that women like to do, it's typically a job where you would have to go to college. Yeah. Right. Because they don't. Most of the jobs. Uh, oh, all black! Congratulations, man. Cool. That's what's up, man. That's what's that, up. Yeah, that's that's clutch as hell. That's yeah. what's up. But like you know, women want to you know they want to work a desk job, right? Okay. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to do anything like you typically they don't want to have to do a job that's physical. Yeah, man, manual, manual labor. Manual yeah. labor, right? So typically, you know what I mean? Like a lot of the jobs where where you have to go to like vocational schools or you know, pick up a trade, something like that. You know, there's there's a lot of physical, you know, labor with that cuz even like with the truck dudes, you know what I'm saying? They got to go get that pallet, they got to mm-hmm. jack it up and pull that pallet out. You know what I mean? A lot of women don't want to do that. Yeah, right, 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 right. Um, not saying they can't do it, the Lord of mercy. No, 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 they yeah, absolutely yeah, can. They just, yeah, it's yeah. not the, it's, it's not the first it's, job that they right. kind of go not, to. You not, know what I'm saying? Not, it's not something that they, they think of. A lot of, a lot of women are, um, because women are natural nurturers, you'll see like, uh, some of the top jobs for women are like nursing positions yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. That you have to go to college for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like literally, like I, I'll say it like this, literally my freshman year of college, like every chick that I probably met like off gate was a nursing major at one point in time. Now, did they change their major? Ask the fucking lootly because you know, nursing is hard. Like getting through that nursing program. Like I've seen people lose their hair getting through that nursing program. You know what I'm saying? It's not an easy program to get to. You might as well just go ahead and be a fucking doctor, the way they described it to me. Um, but, but, but changing, but you know, but when they changed their majors, it was always something that was um, that that was you know in in line of being administrative. So like I had uh, 
one chick that was in the criminal justice building with me, and she was, uh, they also did the uh, the city planning majors. Mm-hmm. Or the, it's not a city planning major. It's a major that gets you to city plan, uh, public administration. That's right. what it is. Yeah. Uh, she was a public administration major. You know, I had a conversation with her. She was like, yeah, I used to be nursing, but I said, fuck that shit. Yeah. You know? The, the, number, the number one most common job for, for women is registered nurse. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the number one. And then, oh shit! Fuck. Damn, did you smack your own drink? I, I did that, that fucking net, yo. <laughs> that <laughs> fucking net, yo. I told you that that was gonna get us. Oh my god! I told you that was fuck gonna it, get us. fuck it. It's all good. It's all in my face. Yo, this nigga let a net in, yo. You wanna get some joint? I can take over, right? All right, yeah, take over real quick, right, man. Ahead, I'm gonna let him handle it, but um. But yeah, if you um, cause I had to pull it up here. But the number one job for women is registered nurse. The next one is is teachers, and then you got you know administrative assistants, um, legal, medical stuff like that. Like so, if you think about the most popular jobs for for women, it's they're not they're not they're not jobs that require labor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or like physical labor. You know what I mean? Like I said, they you know what I mean they. they they, want, they like to do stuff that are more like nurturing and you know what I mean? Like, so, so if you, if you, so that's what I'm saying. Like the whole thing about like women being more educated, it's, it's a shift. It's not just a black or, or white thing or Spanish thing. It's a, it's a trend um, mm. throughout our entire country where, where men are going to. Uh, I want to, I want to comment on Travis real quick, man. Uh, so Travis said, my school district is uh, pushing non-traditional track girls in welding, boys in cosmetology. Travis, I actually, uh, while I was in high school, I actually took cosmetology because they didn't have a barbering um, section. No, no, I'm dead ass. My, you know, bro, my dad literally put me in that shit, bro. And I was like, bro, I ain't trying to do no fucking roller sets and shit like that. But it was actually some good skills to know. Like, if I ever got with a, if I ever got with a girl and she was like, I don't, girls don't get roller sets no more, but I mean, I could do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I could, I could literally do that shit. Like I can go to state board and, and, you know, take the fucking test and pass it. You know what I'm saying? Like if they still had it when my little brother went there, he probably would have been in cosmetology. No you know what I'm saying? Just to, just to get that, you know, just to get that, that extra oomph because bro, doing women's hair, that shit fucking pays. That's like $300 a head. How much you getting for a haircut? You know what I'm saying? I paid I pay twenty dollars for mine. When I get my line up, my beard shaped up, twenty bucks. You know what I'm saying? Twenty bucks over three hundred, and during that three hundred, you can you can fit you know a hundred dollars worth of niggas getting getting haircuts and shape ups because they gotta sit under the dryer at some point in time. Yeah. So no, I, I fuck with that, Travis. I appreciate your uh you you know you bringing your input in, man. I don't know. I'm gonna give a little bit of pushback. On. What? Because I don't, all right, so what do you like, mean by that? Nah, because I don't know about like pushing people into certain fields. You get what I'm saying? Well, it's not pushing people. Or if I think it's more. I, them, I think it's more introduction. You know, introduction you to support it. them into those fields, then fine. But I feel like I feel like if women rather be be nurses and teachers and and things of and don't want to do hard labor, then let them do that. You know what I'm saying? If they want to do. Uh, you know, welding or construction or whatever the hell yeah. they can do that too. But I don't know about like pushing them. You know what I'm saying? Because I, you know what I mean. Like I had, we talk about they talk about gender equality a lot, right? Okay. Here's what here's what I had had an issue with when I was in when I was doing my studies. They were they were pushing women to be more into the IT field. Mm-hmm. Mind you, there are only two women in my class. Really? There was only two women. Dan had a whole bunch of chicks in his class. There's only two women in your there class. There's only two. There was only I, I don't know how he he must have got them all because even, you know, even <laughs> he must have got them all because not because it was like two twin chicks. I, I remember it was two twin chicks. Mm-hmm. He he would hang out with all the females from there. You know what I'm saying? Like he used to he, he used to bring them to the house. I used to be nah. like, damn, how you meet her? Oh, yeah, she in such and such class with me. Oh, okay, shit. Nah, nah, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell, tell, tell you this story. Okay. I'm going to tell you why, why I felt it. Oh, shit, why story why. time for This nigga don't never tell stories. What's up, man? Camera on you, nigga. All right, so so here was the thing, all right? So, because even, like, I, I work in IT, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And there's not a lot of women. Like, there's not. You know what I mean? Um, and it's and it's to my point of there only being two, there's only two girls in my class. They're not, they're not, they're not picking the major. You yeah. know what I mean? 
And I think uh, a lot of people try to make the narrative that they're not getting jobs or they're getting pushed out of the field. They're not picking the major. You you get what I'm saying? That's that's why you you'll find like a lot of women not not in IT. You yeah. know what I mean? So um, here here was the issue I had. Right? This is about equality, right? Yeah. We want equality, right? While I was in school, they had a special program where the the two women could could work with um it was Cisco. Mm. They could work with Cisco to do this project. And so I ain't gonna lie. Like I was jealous as fuck. Because I was like, yo, like I would love that opportunity. Cause that was actually like one of the places where I wanted to get a job at. Okay. I would love that opportunity to work with Cisco. But they had this special program only for women. Mm. And to me, that's not equality. You get what I'm saying? Ah uh, that's not equality. What do you mean by that? No. <laughs> what you mean? It's, it is what I said. They had a special program in IT just 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 for the women to take and they could use that opportunity to network and possibly get a job with in Cisco. Okay. Because I'm a man, I didn't have that I didn't have that opportunity. Okay, but 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 even still, bro, even still, and I'm gonna give you pushback on that because even still looking at just overall equality across the board, they had fucking scholarships that you and I weren't eligible for because we're too tall. They had, they literally have a, a scholarship out there for people under five foot, under five foot. So if you're four eleven, that's an extra two thousand a semester that you're getting. And that's bullshit. I don't no, know. it's not, bro. It's not. Why? Why, why because do some people get get a scholarship just for being short? I don't know, bro. Somebody thought about it. It was like, yo, I'm gonna put in a grant because I feel like we we need help. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you can't say that. Like, like short like, people? <laughs> what? <laughs> but it's a thing, bro. What, what is a, the short people gonna do that I can't do? But it's a thing, bro. It's a it's a whole thing. I can't I, I I can't put it no other way. It's a whole fucking thing, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a lot of shit out there that I I mean, you know, it seems unfair, but you think about it, it's like damn, it's a lot of four eleven niggas out here. It's a lot of four eleven chicks out here. And let them get out out the mud like the rest of us. You get what I'm saying? I mean, I get it, bro. But somebody had the wherewithal somewhere to think of the scholarship, man. Like somebody had the wherewithal somewhere to think of the grant. Somebody had the wherewithal somewhere. This is, this is the same shit where, and I know people were applauding this. Where was this Atlanta? Y'all can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But they were uh, giving out a. I don't know. Sure, people grant is ridiculous. <laughs> Legit. Legit, like bro, it's like, a fucking real thing, OZ. Yeah. Like I'm, bro, it's a it's fucking that, real thing. You, that's, that's stupid, bro. Like just because you're short, you on he gonna get something extra? Like nah, bro. You you short, just deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Like it is what it that, is. You can't say that, man. No, just deal with it. <laughs> I gotta deal with being black. I am not getting. Where's the where's the black people? All right, hold on, hold on. No, nigga, okay, you can't wait, say. You. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I was getting to a point before I, before we read. Okay. All right, go go ahead, go ahead, man. Right, so go ahead. This this is what I'm telling you about like. Equality, especially with genders, right? There was this thing, and I know you've seen it where, um, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was in Atlanta. It was somewhere in Georgia where they were giving out stimulus to black women. You ain't seen this? No, I haven't heard about this. They was giving out stimulus. I don't know if it was. Uh, like oh, the, 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 the state of Georgia. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, do, yeah. No, no, I do remember. Yeah. Because, no, it wasn't just Georgia, it was other states too that were giving stimulus to certain people. You know what I'm saying? Like state stimulus to certain people because they got so much fucking money. It, but did they, this particular check was was a kind of um, like a reparation type of thing. Um, but it was just... <laughs> it lie. was just... Yeah, I'm a it was just for black women. And I'm trying to I'm trying to see if I can pull up pull up the information. Um... Uh, <laughs> and like, look, cool. Like, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. Let, let these black women get their stimulus. You know what I'm saying? Like, cool, cool, cool. Like, I'm with that, right? But, like, nigga, like, I guess, like, black, black women just gotta, I mean, black men just gotta get it out of the mud, right? Bro, it's, it's so much to this, bro. I don't even know why I brought this up with you, man. So, Tiff says, I mean, uh, I mean, you know, I'm gonna dig into it. Yeah, no, nah, Tiff said, under, under, under representation is legitimate equality over. Equity over equality. 
Here's what I'm saying, bro. All right, bro. Man, I'm gonna let I'm you. Gonna I'm, gonna let you. Some, I'm gonna ruffle some feathers on, with with this one, bro. Nigga, you gonna get us fucking canceled? Fuck nah, ruffling feathers, that. man. But what I'm what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, and I've seen this happen. Mm-hmm. I've seen this happen. Um, and I and I'm not saying, and I'm I, I'm not I'm not saying like it doesn't happen where a woman doesn't get a job because she's a woman. Because mm-hmm. I know black sometimes black people don't get a job because they're black, but at the same time, like I I disagree with giving someone a job just because they're a woman, right? Just because they fit, you know what I mean? Like you see the thing with um, uh, what's old girl uh, who just ran for, for for Senate? What's up? What's an I don't know her name, but anyway, the black lady who just ran for Senate, right? Okay, black lady ran, ran for Senate. Senate. Oh the uh oh yeah 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 okay yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yes 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 I I did I watched that thoroughly. She's definitely qualified. She's absolutely. Definitely qualified. Absolutely. You know absolutely. Fucking absolutely. She's she's definitely qualified, right? But you would see like a lot of people. You know what I mean? The 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 thing is is like we want to make sure that we're giving this person the job because they're qualified and yeah. not just because they fit the um the demographic. You get Absolutely. what I'm saying, and and that's that's all I'm saying. That's okay. all I'm saying because I've seen, I've seen someone, you know what I mean, kind of I guess an affirmative action type of thing. Yeah. If someone got a job and they weren't the best person for the job. To me, like I understand more representation, blah blah blah, but I feel like. I feel like some shit is just bullshit. You should just give the job to the best person. Okay. You so let's so let's so, so let's uh so let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Uh so wait, 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 wait. So between a woman and a man who is qualified, who'd get it? It All depends right. on the uh, it credentials. Just, it depends on the credentials at the end the of the day. And I was actually getting ready to get into that. Yeah. All right, so uh the job that I just got, so I work at HR, right? So the job that I just got. Um, literally all the owners are fucking white. It's two white women and a white male, right? All the owners are fucking white, right? I know for a fact, I know for a fact when it came down to the last two people, which was me and a black woman, I said to myself, I was like, yo, I'm not going to get this fucking job. And I'm not even going to tell you how I knew that it came down to me and the black woman, because I'm not going to disclose that information. However, however, off rip, I already, I had it in my mind. I was like, yo, I'm not going to get this fucking job. Now, mind you, I have the qualifications for it. I've been working at HR for, you know what I'm saying, five plus years now. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, every position that I've ever had, I've been in some form of management doing payroll, some form of HR, hiring and firing, recruitment. You know what I'm saying? So I have, I have over 10 years of HR experience. You know what I'm saying? I have a master's degree at HR. So we're not even going to, you know, talk about that shit off gate because it's an administrative, it's really an administrative office position. I I already thought, I was like, yo, she got that, she got the position. And I wasn't mad at it at all. I'm not mad at it at all. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I mean, they ended up choosing me and they kept it up being with me. They said, yo, you know, we need more black male representation with the company. And I, I, I kind of felt a way. I was like, damn, is that why y'all picked me? Because one of the questions I asked, the, when I had the last interview, right? They said, yo, you know, you got any questions after that? I said, I asked the question. I said, do you have any questions about my qualifications for this position? Right? Them niggas, they didn't even know how to answer the shit. You know what I'm saying? They were lost. I was like, yo, ain't nobody ever asked us no question like this. Like, do you have any questions about my qualifications? Because I do this job already at my current job. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't nothing different than what I'm doing from a day to day basis. Right. And, and see, and that's what, and, and see, that's what I'm trying to get to. Because even as, and we're gonna get to that in a minute. Yeah. But, um, but even as a, like, even as a black man, and you're hiring me, as a, I'm a black man, I would feel offended that you just picked me because I'm a black man. Right. Versus me being qualified. Like I don't like, like, bro, like just the other day, they put me on a on a uh, interview panel. Because they needed a minority on there. Yo, that should be fucking wild. I wasn't even like, bro, for the job, like, I really, like, I didn't know shit about it. I'm like, bro, why am I even on this? But they put me on there because, because they, they need they, they need, need a, minority a minority right there. Yep. But I'm like, yo, yep. someone else would be way more qualified to be on this 
um, panel who knows more about the position than I do. And to me, that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? All right, let, let's get to this. It's uh, okay. So, but they both qualify with the same credentials and both black and who. All right, I'm gonna tell you the ugly truth because, and you might know this too because you you yeah. you. you yeah, nah, I want I want I want to see where you go with. At the end it, of the it, day, it, at the end of the day, you gonna pick who fits in better, right? Who fits in with the fucking culture who of the fits company? In with the culture of the that, company. That's that's who it is. And that's that who it is, is. That is a sad truth, and that's yep. why a lot of black people get left off because that's exactly what they do. Yeah. Absolutely, that's, that's exactly, and that's just a sad truth, and that that just is what it is. It's All right, so look, the job the job that I work now, where I'm assistant uh, assistant director of HR, right? I got the job while we were in Vegas. I had the whole fucking interview while we were in the hotel room in fucking Vegas, yo. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I quit my job. What? When, when do we when do we get to Vegas? Let's say Wednesday. Uh -huh. Did we get that Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. Uh -huh. Thursday. Friday morning, I quit my job. Right, the lady. I, I made two phone calls. The lady had me on a fucking Zoom interview in the fucking um, hotel room to give me the job because I fit the culture of the company. Mind you, I already knew, you know what I'm saying, everybody in the company, but you know what I'm saying, like I already fit the culture. They already knew. They didn't need to interview the, the other 60 candidates because I, I was privy to that information once I started. I was like, all right, I want to see who else applied for this position. I'm looking through these motherfuckers. I'm like, damn, that nigga way more qualified than me. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like, yo, I fit the culture of the company. Like these niggas know me already. Right. And see, it can work, it can work for you and it can work, it, it, it can work against you. I'll give you the perfect example. I went to a job interview, right? The, the, they were only interviewing people who were currently in college. So no one really had any experience, right? We're okay. all the, we're all students. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so we we are open. We we are open for live questioning. Like yeah, you yeah. are you are making like five comments at yeah, once. Yeah, we're we, trying we, to we, catch we, up. We, we get like damn, yeah, nigga. Yeah. Like you got it, Dominique. Slow down, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we 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 gonna we gonna we gonna get to you. Um. Yeah. So basically, it was all the people they interviewed. Right? Oh, Z, I hate you. Okay, go ahead. Ah, uh, Illuminati. <laughs> nah, all right. So they interviewed people who have no experience. None of us has have it has any experience, right? None of us have any degrees because we're all in college. This is at Durham Tech. So okay. we even, you know what I mean? The dude in the thing said, you know what? We understand that you guys don't have a lot of experience. We understand, but we can teach you all that. We're just looking for someone who can fit in. Mind you, I walked, they, they gave me a tour around the company. Mm -hmm. And there was one minority up in that one. He, he wasn't was, black. He wasn't black. He was a sand nigga. Bruh, he was Indian. He was <laughs> Indian. Oh, he was Indian. He okay, was Indian. All, right, all right, That was the only minority in the whole place, and they talked about it like, yeah, you know, we just looking for someone who can fit in, and like, oh, we like to watch baseball, and so uh, like, I'm like, oh, baseball. Like, I like baseball, nigga. Yeah, I go to like games baseball. all the time. But, yeah, but, you, but you know that ain't the yeah. popular black sport. Yeah, 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 you know for saying? sure. They say basketball or football, and I'm like, oh, yeah, man, my favorite team is both. Of course, I am like, you know, I probably would have to make some shit up. Yeah, like my favorite team is like the the, the Yankees. Uh, I know, how do I know you was gonna say the Yankees? They, <laughs> they that's, the that's, a, that's the fucking default right, go to for niggas. Like, I, just, I don't know. Yeah. I have to make some shit up. You know what I'm saying? Which I should have said that. You know what I mean? But of course, I don't know that in the place. So yeah. Like, and they challenged me on that. I would have been like, uh, Oh yeah, you would have been fucked because they oh they love to do that shit yeah, though. They love yeah, to do that so, shit, man. So on, on the on some real and it just this is just what happens is that. A lot of times, where the people doing the hiring, they just pick who who they like. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, yeah, it's, it's, he it's, seemed like a cool guy. I'm going to hire him. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and that's just the, the, the harsh reality of it. And, and a lot of the times, so a lot of the times, HR does not have the ability to kind of sway management on who they want to pick for a position. I'm telling you from experience, right? Yeah. So um, we have recently, right, we're hiring new salespeople. All the fucking sales force is white. Everybody is fucking white. It's not a now black nigga on that shit, right? So, we hiring for uh, a salesperson in Virginia, right? I interviewed this guy, black guy. He has experience. He got connections with like, he's, he's been in sales for fucking 13 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he has an in on, you know, new companies you know, that are opening up and all that good stuff. So we are we are absolutely good with, you know, hiring you. Like, okay, yeah, I'm excited about this yeah. guy, right? They don't hire the dude. They don't hire the dude. They hire a fucking white man. And I'm like, yo, I, 
I have no say so because it's at the end of the day, it's management's call, right? Now, mind you, this black dude, you know what I'm saying? He got uh maybe like four or five years of sales experience, but he knows somebody that work in the company. You know what I'm saying? So he, he fits the culture. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, y'all want to be diverse, but y'all not giving us a chance. You know what I'm saying? It was a it was a black woman in Durham. Applied for a sales position. Excellent fucking track record. I loved interviewing her because I do the first interview. So I loved interviewing her. I said, like, yo, sis, you know, I'm going to make sure I look out for you. I even sent an extra email. was like, yo, y'all need to hire her. You know what I'm saying? She did great on the interview. She has all the fucking credentials. Fucking hire her, yo. Like, she she already has a fucking 90-day 90, 90 plan. You know what I'm saying? She got her 30-day, her 60-day, her 90-day plan for coming into the company. Like, why not hire her, yo? Like, she she already, she already works in this industry already. Why not fucking hire her? All right. And, and honestly, like, I haven't really even seen, like, as far as, like, I don't know, what's the, you know, I don't believe in them. I don't know that. Right, that's I don't believe in it. <laughs> but you, it's an insider, Dominic. Uh, you ain't gonna, oh, you ain't gonna uh, recognize what me and Oz talking about. Yeah. All right. So, uh, but between a man and a woman, um, and a man, in a, in a oh, in a male industry, they are gonna choose a woman if she attractive. No, no, look, look, hold that's, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Let me, let me tackle this. Me tackle, all right, right. go this. ahead, bro. Go ahead, bro. There is pretty privilege. Nothing you can do about that shit. <laughs> Nothing you can do about that. You can look. I understand it ain't fair. It's not fair, but there is a thing called pretty privilege. I'll tell you a story. Got another story, God dang. All right, what's I up? I just mean a damn Nah, thing. nah, nigga, you got stories I, today. I'll tell you another story. I was working at Walmart, and if anybody who knows me when I was working at Walmart or knows my manager, if you're watching this, I'm about to call your ass out. Um, nah, I ain't gonna say your name though. But we was working at Walmart, right? And my manager legit hired nothing but the prettiest women, bro. I was going to say the B word, but I decided not to. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> my manager was legit. I'm going to tell you what he was what he was doing. And it's, it's crazy. My manager was, was pulling applications, searching them on Facebook. Seeing if they was cute or not. Oh, this nigga's a fucking creep, bro. He was hiring them, bro. This nigga's a fucking nigga creep, was, bro. Was, was go on Facebook, see what they look like. And, and, they, call they, them, and, and then, then call them in for the interview. Oh, and, bro, I was man. I in electronics, bro, with, like, nothing but, like, <laughs> like five women, bro. This nigga's a Everybody fucking creep, like, man. You know me, bro. And I was just like, oh, man. This oh, nigga's man. a fucking creep, bro. <laughs> It's pretty privileged, bro. Like, people do it. People do it. Pretty, pretty privilege is thing. If you're pretty, you have privilege. Like, recognize your fucking privilege if you're if you're a pretty person. And, that, and that's the thing. And it, and it happens. There's studies. There are studies online that will show mm-hmm. that people who are attractive are more likely to, to get hired. Yeah. Attractive and charismatic. It gets- attractive and charismatic. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 you know what I mean? Like, you listen, I ain't going to lie. If, 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 if it's up in the air, I'm going to be real with you. If it's up in the air and I don't know who to pick and the girl is fine, I'm going to be like, man, she kind of, we might need her for morale. That's a morale boost. We need a morale boost and the workplace. Go ahead, hire her big booty ass. Let's get up in here. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what, I'm, I've been on plenty of interview joints and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to bring her in. I'm going to bring her in. If, it, if, it's, if it's like borderline, okay. I'm going to be real with you. If it's borderline, I'm not just going to hire someone because I don't want to hire someone who's going to make the work harder on everyone else because I know what that's like. I've seen someone who gets hired who's not qualified, and that hurts the whole team. Yeah, right. But if, if, if the qualifications are equal, I'm going to be, uh, what's your name, Yazuri? I'm going to be real with you, Yazuri. Um, I'm hiring the pretty girl. You're right. I'm guilty. This me. This me. I'm guilty. You see me? I'm gonna hire the pretty girl if it's if it's a toss up. But look, on the flip side though, on the flip side though, her name ain't no fucking Zuri. It's Dominique, nigga. Oh, she's talking about some yay Zuri. No, nigga, <laughs> nigga, I know you. Oh, Dominique, I right, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but no, no, no. On the flip side though, I'm gonna tell you because I know the bullshit that be happening at these at these white companies where they hire other white people. 
when black people come in, you know my man Antoine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Antoine was with us. He came on the trip. Yep. He was working at Best Buy. Mm hmm. He came through the interview. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have, like I said, you know, we, we like, you know, I, I work for a tech company for UNC. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got him in there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I, and it wasn't like he wasn't unqualified, but there was there was definitely people who was like kind of like they was pushing that. But you know, I could see he was young. He was, you know, he was, you know, he got his associates. He was, you know what I mean? He was up and coming. Like I could see yeah. that. Like the yeah, yeah. with potential. And I was thinking to myself, hey, yo, that was me when I was when I was younger. Like right. I was I was a guy with potential who just needed a chance yeah. to come and, and beat. And that and that's really all it is. And that's really black, all it is. And I ain't gonna own front with you. That was the main my main my main motivator. He was a black young man who was trying to get his foot in the door. Yep. You get what I'm saying? Yep. And I said, and I, I fought for him. I said, nah, bro. Like, I mean, he might have got hired if, if, even if I didn't fight for him. I ain't going to say it was But me. that extra push but didn't hurt. I definitely fought for him because I was like, yo, we need, and y'all talking about black men not, not doing blah, 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 not getting money, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to make sure he got he got hired. Yeah. Legit. Legit. And, I, and I'm going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to balance it out. Because I'm pretty sure... There's some white people who didn't hire, who picked a white person over a black person just because they were white. And so, God damn it, I will if 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 the qualifications are like got that bitch. I, like that. <laughs> I go. got that fucking net, yo. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, if the qualifications are neck and neck, legit, I'm gonna pick the black person. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be that. I'm, I'm that guy. I'm that guy, bro. And I have I have no problem saying that. I will if it's neck and neck. That white person better better be rolling, bro. He better boom, 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 boom. Yeah, he got he got to be invited to the be, cookout. Yeah, bro, he got yeah. he got to be hitting on all cylinders for me to pick him. Cause otherwise, I'm like, nah, bro, I'm, I'm gonna go with my brother. Cause we need yeah. we need jobs. He better like tell him. me he adopted and his mom black or something, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> he, better, he better tell me I'm some shit be, like that. I'm gonna be real, like I'm gonna do. It. You know what I'm saying? But I have I have at the same time I had I had that backfire on me once. Mm -hmm. One time it was a dude. I wish I didn't stick my neck out for him. Cause he made me kind of look bad, mm. but you know what I mean. So you got to pick your spots, right? It just, yeah, you can't pick every black person. Right, you can't pick every black. You know what I'm saying? Because I I, I I picked one guy and he made me look bad, and I said I would never do that again. So, yeah. Um, so uh, so Damo, go ahead and ask your uh, go ahead and ask your question. We waiting we waiting on you to ask your question. While you while you get ready to ask your question, I gotta I I don't forgot what else we had to talk about today because we ain't even. This joint, that one, this, I don't even know, that ain't even on the topics. Bro. Nah, it wasn't, it I wasn't. I know, bro. Oh, we was talking about out earning uh, black, black men and we got on. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, we bad. jumped down the rabbit hole for we, a little bit. We really did jump down the rabbit hole, but nah, like, as far as the, the, the iron process, I, I think we were talking about equality. Uh, so back, back to my main thing about equality, uh -huh. just so I can try to, like, wrap this up, is that I don't think we should... We should force shit. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I don't, I believe in equal opportunity, not equal results. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Okay, I can live with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, for instance, hold on, what, what's the good book guy here? Uh, do y'all think that those jobs different from industry and nine to five equality when choosing who to hire? What? <laughs> yeah, I think those jobs are different from industry and nine to five uh, equality when choosing. I'm uh, to hire. Right. I think. Um, I think. I think. Uh, yes. Yes. To answer your question, yes. Um, because I, I think yeah, it depends on the work culture. There are are some uh, work cultures that are very toxic. If you look at the um, like video gaming uh, industry. Um, you know, they, they tend to be, because those are like a lot of nerds, a lot of guys who are not very, um, sociable, sociable, you know, uh, IQ over EQ. Right, right, right. They're not, they're, they're socially awkward and they don't, you know what I mean? They, because they, they have struggle getting women. They might have some hatred towards women. Um, and you know, so it's, there are some environments that are, that are run, um, uh, like a, like a, like a locker room. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She said, but isn't work culture work? No, work culture is not work culture. Work culture is the culture of the owners and how they 
how they how they want to graph, you know, who gets hired yeah. and what the common interest is across the board. Be- no, because no. if you have it, so if, if you have an office full of Republicans, you're not going to hire a, a strong willed Democrat, you know, say into your ranks. You're, you're not going to do it. It's, it's not going to happen. Right. But I mean, and and uh, yeah, and, and see, this is what I'm saying. Um, in that last comment, go ahead, and put that out there. All right, I'll throw that out there. Yeah, go ahead, throw that out there. And and you got to think, right? And and see, this is why it's important for black people to have have their own shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because you're right. A lot of this shit is ran by the white man, and that's why you, you know, you see the continuous dominance. And so that's why I'm saying when I get into a position of power, I'm probably mostly going to hire black people, and I, I recommend that. Y'all do that shit too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, absolutely. You know what I mean? Make sure they qualify. Sure. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And there better be no qualified black people before you, you know what I'm saying, start looking at these other races. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If the person is qualified, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to hire my people because that's what they're doing. And I, I think I think there's there's really no good way to fight that. I think um, I think a, affirmative action puts a bad taste on the hire. Mm. You know what I mean? If there's a company that says affirmative action, now every black person who who worked there, they're gonna think, oh, you're just affirmative action. Like I don't want that stigma on me. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. Like I want I want to say like I earned that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why like I understand why there's affirmative actions in, in some places. But if I was to get a job at a place that implements affirmative action, I feel like people will will look at me like a charity case. Okay. And I don't. I me personally. I don't want that. And, and and that's what I'm saying is is there has to be equal opportunity. Equal opportunity doesn't equal equal results. You get what I'm saying? And back to the whole gender thing. You what do know, you mean by that? No, I'm just I'm, I'm uh, fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking back, with you. Back to the whole women versus men thing, you know, and what what he originally started about like pushing certain things. You can't have equal results. And we'll just say construction or IT field or whatever. If what is she talking if, about? Uh, if there's not an equal amount of women who are who are majoring in IT. Yeah. If there's not an equal uh, amount of women who are choosing to major in IT, then of course you're not going to have an equal amount of women getting jobs at Cisco, at Apple, at IBM. Of course you're not. We need that. There needs to be more women. Now, if there's 50-50 men and women uh, majoring in um, STEM fields, which they're, which they're not, but then if you looked at the jobs and it wasn't 50-50, now we have a problem. Right. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. But if you look at it, like a, a lot of the women are choosing, like I said, they're, 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 they're not choosing STEM. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I don't, I don't like the idea of like pushing, pushing people into STEM if they're not choosing it, if they don't want to do STEM, they don't have to do STEM. You know what I'm saying? But I think like people trying to make it a point to be like, oh, let's let's hire women and put them in in the STEM. When you know, it's it's not like it's not like the NFL where the NFL is like 70 percent black and there's like only two black head coaches. You know right. what I'm saying? Right, right. But that's bullshit. You know right. what I'm saying? Now, if if women and how like, many black owners? You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And how many black owners? But if if women were 70 percent of the IT majors. And was only like thirty percent of the jobs. That's a problem. But right now, it, there are a very small minority of the people who are picking those jobs. So to me, it makes sense why there's a small am- amount of women in the IT field. You know right, I mean? bigger facts. Damo, um, to answer your question, uh, if you want to participate, bring your ass up here to the podcast, man. The only live uh, audience, you know, commentary that we do is on the comments. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to. If you want to join in, join yeah, in on the comments. Yeah, Otherwise, bring your ass up here because yeah, we're not we're not doing the 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 call in. Yeah, no, no, no. We look, look. We got that set up. Yeah, we we not we that got, advanced yet. We, we still we still niggas, man. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, like yo, when we get that set up, we'll let you know. Yo, you still there, you gotta bring your ass. Yeah, you gotta bring your ass to the podcast, bring man. Your ass to the couch. Got, come yeah, to come to the couch, yo. Plenty of people done been on the couch. Come gotta to the take couch a before you even start. Yeah, talking. you. Yeah, we gotta make sure you drinking. Like, no, we this can't. Is drinks and discussions. Come on, man. Get a drink. I can't see the drink in your hand. I can't see the drink in your hand. Yeah, like, right. Like it don't count. Yeah, it don't count. It don't count until I see the drink. Yeah, in your hand. you can. You can. We can discuss all day. I don't even know if you're drinking or not, man. Uh, what's up? What, what's, what's Shanice talking about? You know, I'm supposed to be going, um, going on her podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell, how many women are in any position in there? <laughs> right. 
Personal, uh, was it was it the trainers, the uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're athletic added, trainers, added, yeah. The NFL added a rule to um, add have they must have a minority on there, so they mm. they are having more women in the in the thing, so they're all they right. are making changes. So this is gonna be a messy segue, man, but I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it, man. Who who is who is giving these women? Who is giving these women with deep dish pussy the wherewithal to comment on dick size? Let me let me let me let me clarify. Let me clarify real quick. But this is a, a crazy transition. <laughs> uh, hell yeah, it's a fucking crazy <laughs> transition. No, 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 no. Now we're gonna talk about what I want to talk about. So look, having a conversation with a group of women, right at the bar, right mm-hmm. having a conversation with a group of women. And the woman says, the woman says, yo, if a nigga is less than 10 inches, I can't fuck with it. What? So I, I, now I got to ask questions. So it's like, so is every, like, I don't want to mess with a girl if she's messing with 10 plus inches dick because I'm not going to feel shit if I try to hit. Like I'm 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 not, I'm not going to feel shit. Like, yo, your pussy might be broke because it's deep dish. You got deep dish pussy now. Like if you if you fucking with niggas with ten inch dicks, you, the, the, the fucking the diagram for the fucking vagina canal is only three fucking inches. Now mind you, it does stretch, but that shit is only three fucking inches. And you taking ten inches I worth of dick head, like, because that's how they show it on the fucking diagram like this, and it stretches like this. You know what I'm saying? So at the at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then on top of that, man, most of the women that I've ever talked to was like, yo, I don't want niggas with like huge dicks. You can have a big dick, but you can't have a huge dick. She's like, if you can fucking fucking throw that shit over your shoulder, I don't want that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, who the like Shorty, are you all right? I got I got questions for you, yo. I got questions for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, who and then her homegirls were fucking adamant about oh yeah i only fuck niggas with 10 inch dicks but you're lying but you're lying i said i wasn't gonna say bitch no more but i gotta say it in this instance you're lying you're lying what's the average size of a nigga's dick it's not 10 inches i tell you that much that's not the average size so you're saying that every nigga that you fuck with had a 10 inch 10 inch plus dick you're fucking lying i don't believe you you need more people I don't know who gave y'all the where thought what <laughs> Shanice said what happened? <laughs> we changed topics. We changed topics. That's what happened. We changed topics, man. Cause we gotta hit all these topics before we get off of here and we we definitely pass an hour. We definitely pass an hour, I was about man. To say we ain't gotta give it all. We ain't gotta give give it all. We save some for later. Yeah. But, but I, I I see it like this. I all see right, it like okay. this. Go ahead. Finish it, finish your shit. Get your shit. Out. I see it like this. All right. right? The average black man, right, has get the job done dick. That's that's what the average black man has. Because it's gonna get the fucking job done. It's gonna get the fucking job done. But I wanna know is how, how, how did like how did she know for sure it was ten inches? Did she I don't know, maybe she measure and take did she like oh, okay, hold on, hold on, let me measure dick real quick, you know what I'm saying, before I figure out maybe she measured it, I don't know. Don't have sex or not. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't even like how does that like put your I, shit up? Put your shit up to a long remote, my nigga. Like I don't know. So, Fuck. I mean, he pulled it out, and if it was eight, he was like, nah. Well, I can't. <laughs> right? Like, nah, like you gonna turn it down if it's eight? Mm, nah. What if it's nah, nine and a half? Right, nine like point five. Like, you gonna turn mm, that shit down? Nah, I don't know. Like I can't. I can't get that. I don't know. That shit weird to me. I yeah, know. I I I don't get it, and I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Now, I have never like come across, you know like a woman that I'm dealing with sexually that has been like on that fucking werethal. However, it's just like, it's really women that fucking are out here saying and thinking this shit. And I'm just like, what the entire fuck? Like, first of all, you're limiting your pool of niggas you can fuck with because the average size of a male's penis is not fucking 10 inches. You know what I'm saying? That's Mandingo dick. You know what I'm saying? Like we... (laughs) You know what? <laughs> Shanice, what do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? 
What, what, do you, what do you mean by that? I'm not going to say we are or we aren't because, I mean, I honestly have some homeboys who are black who are not as blessed as everybody else is. You know what I'm saying? And the only reason I know because we were in college and it was a topic of conversation in front of females that had seen everybody naked. So, like, it's like, you know, I, I can't say that. I can't say that. I can't say that. It's all about how you work it, I guess. Because the nigga, is, the, the nigga in question is not in shortage of bitches. Listen, man. I was always told, man, five and a half, that'll get you in the game. <laughs> but anything less... Is a goddamn shame. Hey yo, and five and a half seems so small, bro. Like that's 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 about average though. Yeah, that's it is, average. but it seems so small in your mind. Like he's like, damn, five and a half, five my and nigga. Half will get you in the game. <sighs> Anything less is a goddamn shame. Goddamn shame. Mm-mm. I don't know, man, but Probably you know, you women, you women, you women out here with these, I was told, bro. you women out here with these, with these deep dish pussies. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and let me tell you something else about your deep dish pussy women. Let me tell you something else about y'all, yo. So also, this woman says she doesn't like to get her pussy ate. Women, women that are listening, comment right now. Comment right now. Do you like to get your pussy? Because I've never heard that from a woman. She don't like cunnilingus. What? You don't like getting your pussy ate. What? Your shit broke. If you don't like getting your pussy ate, your shit broke. And that's just my personal opinion on that shit. That shit fucking broke. Maybe she just never got it. He probably eat the booty like groceries. (laughs) If not, he packing. You better make up with that mouth. What that mouth do, though. Right. Exactly. So, look. See, all right. So if, she, if she don't, if she don't like, if she don't like getting head, it's probably because the dude she was with had no idea how to get head. That's that's my only, that's my only thought process. Or they numbing themselves from that fucking rose. Like yo, y'all, your shortage, y'all gotta get that rose a fucking break every now and then. You can't be, nah, nah, nah. you can't do that shit every night, yo. You gotta get that shit a fucking break, yo. You gonna desensitize your pussy. Then you're not gonna enjoy shit. Then you gotta go be a deep dish pussy woman. You know what I'm saying? Wait, I mean, you know, this this <laughs> She said the power. <laughs> oh my hey, hey, oh, oh shit. You know that I mean, but it depends on the woman, man. There's some women who can only um climax through head. There's some women who um can only climax through penetration. You know what I'm saying? So you know, because I've been with women who like, like, not to say they didn't want it, but they was like, yeah, I prefer the penetration over the head. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm so happy you cleaned that up because it sounded so bad. Yeah, I've been with women who didn't want it. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, nah, I'm saying like who like. No, I get, like, I get it, but it just they were, they were it, it just rather, hit the ear wrong. It just hit the ear wrong. Rather, you know what I'm saying? I said, bro, we gonna have to turn this podcast off and have a conversation, dog. Versus that, but then it's, it's some, you know, what I mean, some girls they were like, you know, they they don't want the penetration, but then they want the, you know, mm-hmm. the head to, to kind of finish. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I've, I've been in both situations. So All right, kind of so like so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shame women anymore, but I will shame guys real quick. Um, niggas who say that they don't have an ugly body up under their belt is a fuck. You're a fucking liar, and I don't trust you. I don't trust niggas who claim to have smart dick. I don't trust you. You never taken one for the team. You 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 never had that that ugly drunk with the banging body that you used to just hit on the side and not let none of your homeboys know about. Like you don't you don't have that in your repertoire. You know what I'm saying? Like if a nigga tells me that he only fucks bad bitches, bro, you're a fucking liar and I can't trust you. Because everybody, every fucking body has had a bad, like, like not a bad jump, but a bad jump that they ain't gonna tell you about. I got bodies I'm taking to my fucking grave. But look, if she was in a, if she was in an open platform and said, yo, I fucked that nigga, I had to say, yeah, yeah, you know, I hit that. I sure did. It was something good about it. I hit that shit. Or I took one for the team. You know what I'm saying? Like I have, I have, you know, I have a reason why I did it. 
I don't know what's this is it, bro. There's one in particular that I would never admit to. My nigga, I knew you was my best friend, yo. There's one in particular. That I, I knew it. You wasn't gonna leave me on the hill and die by myself. I would never admit to. Bro. But at the end of the day, but right. at the end of the day, it, you it's, it's there. It's there. This, this made me chill out on the drinking. I was oh like, man, yeah, it, was like that, it was a drunk night, dog. It was one of them nights, bro, where I was just like, man, I probably should chill on the drinking because. Did you wake up next to it though? No, no, no. Oh, I didn't wake oh, up next oh, to oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Next so you made it home. You made it home. Yeah, yeah. But then you realized what you did, like, fuck. Yeah, I was thinking about that, like, bro, like that was that one a good look. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Respect, respect. It respect. wasn't a good look, bro. It respect. wasn't a good look. And I was like, bro, like, I was like, man, I need to chill on my drink, bro. And that, like, that literally made me chill out, like, when I go out drinking and stuff like that. Cause I'm like, cause I know sober me would never. <laughs> would never. Would never. I would knew, never. I was helping out the homie. To clarify, I was, right? I so was, you, so I, you took one for the team. I took one for the you team. took one for the team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you take one for the team. And this is why I try to get guys to, to understand when I try to tell them, you know, take one for the team for me. You don't have to go all the way. You just got to get, like, up just, to that point. Just preoccupy her ass while I get my shit in. Right. It, you know it, what I'm it, saying? It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah, yeah. actually have to seal the deal. You know what I'm saying? You just got to, like, keep her occupied. Or, and you know what I mean? Just keep her happy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? While, while, like, while you get your joint and you locked in and boom. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all can get up later after the fact. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. You know what I mean? But... Yeah, for whatever reason, mm. went all the way. Oh my god! Yeah, was not happy about it. But what do you mean by that? <laughs> that yo, that's the name of this fucking podcast, nigga. What do you mean by that? Who, who is that? I know Drewski, nigga. Drewski. Oh yeah, Drewski. Yeah, yeah, it's Drewski, man. I was like, yo, man. bro, I, I, bro, I, I love that nigga videos, man. That nigga be <laughs> okay. I, that I, nigga I, be I funny, man. Right, right. Hey, bro, you got anything else before we get the fuck up out of here, man? Man, uh, no, nah, man. This was um, this was a good one, man. I appreciate the um, the uh, commentary from um, the from inter- Shanice, from Dominique, from OZ, yeah. uh, we, uh, we from we love, Tiffany. We love the interaction. Yo, um, please like comment more. Um, yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. absolutely, y'all did a great we, job on the comments we, today. We love that. We like to interact with y'all. We like to get y'all thoughts and opinions. If we bugging, tell us we bugging. <laughs> Shit, we don't care. Yeah, I mean, we like to hear that shit, yo. Because I mean, we we get up here to talk shit anyway, you know. And a lot of a a lot of the things that I say be fucking jokes, you know what I'm saying. So you know, if I'm bugging, let me know. You know what I'm saying. If you want to disagree, disagree. You know what I'm saying. Like like I said, just don't just don't attack my character. You know what I'm saying. Like if you want to disagree with something I said, attack the subject. Don't attack me. But yeah, whatever. Or try to run up on me at the bar because I slap the shit out of you. Yeah, that that too. <laughs> that too. You know what I mean? But we we definitely appreciate your your y'all commentary and your thoughts and you know we, we we love that that um that type of interaction on this on this um. Uh, on this channel, on the station. For sure. All right, so we getting ready to get up out of here, man. Y'all make sure y'all follow us. The Axe is down here, man. Drinks and Discussion Podcast on Facebook, D&D Pod on Instagram. Uh, make sure you follow my man, Primetime Naeem, at Primetime underscore Naeem. Hire black people! Okay, hire black people. Hire black people. Uh, also follow him on Facebook and YouTube at Agree to Disagree for his podcast. Cookies uh, over crackers. <laughs> Make sure you follow me, uh, King Bot KV and GBAK on all social media platforms. Um, now nah, I'm wild like this in real life. Hey, look. I, I, so, all right. So before we go, Monday I'm supposed to be on Shanice podcast because I'm traveling for work and I'll be in Charlotte. I'm supposed to be on Shanice podcast that evening, man. And um, I, I, I think it's gonna be an interesting time. I have no idea the topic she wants to talk about. Uh, make sure you follow her podcast, Dating Over 30 Sucks. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be some dating topics that we're going to talk about. And I'm going to be my fucking wild self as usual. And uh, I cannot wait for uh, for Monday because I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that shit. Um, uh, anything else we need to say before you we get out of my channel? Yeah, hey. agree to disagree. Did you do that already? I did, I, okay, did. Okay. I did. I did it out of order, but I did it. Follow my channel. Agree, the number two. Disagree on YouTube and Facebook. Check me out. I got some good content on there. He does. He does. There's some good content on there. He it's does. a little different from this content, but it's, it's good content. It's good content it's good nonetheless, content, man. Nonetheless. All right, man. We holla at y'all in a few weeks. Peace.